Hey guys, how we doing? Welcome back to Micro Class. It is Tuesday, October 27th, 2020, if you're an A-Day student. If you got a B-Day Micro Class, then you know it's Wednesday, October 28th, 2020. Whatever day it is, I am happy to have you back and hope that you are not having nightmares of typing with a paper covering your hand. Today, we are going to be discussing last class just a little bit. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to type with these papers covering your hands and we'll give you your assignment, I'll hit you with the attendance question, and we will be good to go. So, real quick, last class review. We are now going to be typing with our hands covered by a piece of paper on every lesson. Total honor system here, guys. Hope that you are doing this. Paper is easy to find, tape is easy to find. I'm sure you can do it. This will certainly help you become a better typer. Now, it may seem hard. Those first 10 lessons that we did last class may have been a little bit tough. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks right now. The major tip or trick that I can give you is simply this. It's going to feel weird, but don't think about where the key is or what finger you need to use to hit it. I know that sounds weird, but we've been doing this for about seven, eight weeks now. And your brain, whether you know it or not, has subconsciously remembered where those keys are. So many times you've hit that U button. So many times you've hit the A button. Your brain knows where it is. So now, even though you may not think you know, when you see that A, just reach for it, boom. We know, or your brain knows where that key is, and it's going to work. It's the weirdest thing in the world the first time you do it. The first time every student takes this class, it's always a little bit weird when they hear this. And I say, don't even think about it, just see and react. Boom, and it works. You may get a few wrong, and that's okay, but for the most part, your brain has this established already. It's deep in there somewhere, and it knows where the keys are. All you have to do is just think maybe a little, but just react and go boom, right to that key. Most of the time, you will get it right. The only other tip or trick I have for you, besides using the correct fingers, is just remember where those fingers go. Uh, your placement and how you hold your hands can have a huge effect on how easy it is to hit some of those keys. If you need to move your hands up, move them down, as long as they always come back to the home row and you feel those bumps, then you're totally fine because those bumps allow you to know where the other keys are. Take your time with these assignments. That is the last tip that I have for you, all right? We're doing a bulk load of assignments in the beginning, but we will make them smaller and smaller as we go. But for right now, just take your time with it. Again, remember, these would be 90-minute classes if you were here. So the assignments I'm asking you to do really isn't that much. So take your time. If you mess up, that's okay. Just keep going. Finish it out. If you don't get the fastest words per minute that you need, that's okay. Redo it. If you don't get the correct percentage, that's okay. Just redo it. And sooner or later, you're going to be able to fly through these lessons. Now, your assignment today is going to be similar to what it was last class. We did 1 through 10. Today, you're going to be doing numbers 11 through 20. All right, 11 through 20. That is what is due by the end of this class today, all right, by midnight. Your attendance question that I'm going to hit you with is simply this. What are your plans for this upcoming weekend? Maybe you don't have any. Maybe you've got something big going on. Maybe you just want to chill. What are your plans? You got any good plans for this weekend? That's your attendance question. Let me know what you got going on. Can't wait to read about the things that you guys are doing this weekend. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and we will see you next class. Good luck.